seemed like your back or something was bothering you in the first set when you lost. Did, were you physically okay or was it just... Well, I'm just a bit stiff today. It was extremely cold on the court, very windy. And often when you sort of heat up and then, you know, sometimes in between sets or if you have quite a long break, um, you know, with the wind, you cool down pretty quickly. And um, it's very, very different conditions to the last few few days where it's been very humid and you've been sweating a lot. It was very cold um, out there today. And it was a nightmare. Uh, I mean, yeah, I wanted to just try and get through the match, and in the end, it was it was difficult conditions, extremely windy today, um, and with the way he plays, he, he hits the ball pretty big and, and flat um, on both sides, and you know, strokes stay pretty low. It's hard at times to to control, and he made it very difficult for me. So. Um, with the way the third set ended up going, I was just very happy to, to get it done because, you know, he uh, he had chances um, at the end of the, the third set to, to go ahead. Is it fun to defend your first Grand Slam title, or is it pressure, or, or both? No, it's, I, I haven't felt a huge amount of difference once the tournament started. I've been saying all week it was a bit different the week beforehand, doing some extra things, and... You know, I was a bit anxious about it around the weekend, but because I, I played my first match very late, I just literally wanted to get on the court and play at that stage. Um, I wasn't really thinking about anything else. I just wanted to go out and play, and um, I haven't thought about it since. You played close up the last two matches. Are you concerned at all about that? Um, I think some... I mean, I lost... Uh, Obviously, set on a tie break today, and I could have, uh, you know, I could have, uh, I could have won that. Um, so, I, I mean, I, I would have liked to maybe start a bit quicker, but I mean, I, I don't think in the matches before I started that slow. I mean, I won both of the sets, and I wasn't in danger really of losing either of them at any stage. It wasn't breaks down or anything, or or anything like that. So, you know, it's um, today was was tough. It was it was tricky, and um, I'm just glad I got through in the end. Is your serve working the way you'd like? Um, well, again, it, it's, it it depends. I mean, you you have to do what you can with what the the conditions are. When it's windy, serving is 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 trickier. And I lost my serve. Um, how many times tonight in four sets? Twice. Twice. I mean, it's it's not te it's not terrible. Um, the round before, I don't think I lost my serve against Meyer, and uh, the round before that maybe once. So, like, I, I would like to be serving a little bit harder, but it's it's but not then always. Uh, sometimes, yeah. I mean, if you're not comfortable on serve, you're going to take some pace off it. But with the way it was tonight. Um, Try and give yourself a bit more margin. You've been really consistent at reaching the quarterfinals days. How much confidence does that give you when you get into tight matches like this? Um, well, I think now, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll start playing a little bit better. Um, from from now on, I mean, you know, sometimes the the first week of a slam, you know, I played very well. Sometimes you <coughs> maybe feel like there's a little bit something to lose. Um, I don't know, but like I'm in the quarterfinals of a, of a slam. It's not an easy thing to to do, and uh, the match are going to get tougher. So we'll have to up my game. What's the key against Stan? When you play Stan, what's the key? What's the key for you? Uh, well, I'll need to I'll need to play a good match. He's improved, I think, this year quite a bit. Um, some of the things he didn't do so well before, he's he's improved. So he has less weaknesses. Um, you know he's more more experienced now. Um, you know he has you know has a very good backhand. You know he serves well. Um, you know he's he's solid up at the net. He makes a lot of returns, so he makes it very tricky for you. And um, he's a top player, so it'd be be a very tough match for him. Have you seen anything different? In, obviously, you've got a lot of shit stamps, but you said in practice quite a bit. Have you seen anything different in the 
Um, yeah, I don't know ex exactly why. I don't know if he's, you know, working harder. He made a uh, coaching change uh, around the clay court season, um, you know, which may have helped him because he was without a coach for, for quite a while. That could have helped him a bit. Um, you know, the match that he had with Novak in Australia at the beginning of the year, that could have also con uh, contributed to it as well. There's a lot of things that, that go into it, but you know he hasn't changed any of his strokes technically or anything, so um, you'd expect uh, m most of it to be confidence. And what did you think when you saw Federer went down to a breakaway? Um, I was practicing at the time, so I didn't actually get to see that that much of it, but yeah, it was obviously surprising. He'd won against Tommy, I think, ten times in a row, so um, surprising, you know, result for. For him, but like a lot of players go through um, periods where they're, they're not playing, you know, their their best tennis, and you know that's obviously been the case with Roger, you know, since around probably Wimbledon time. He had a few issues with his back earlier in the year as well, and um, you know he's still hitting the ball well. He still has the same strokes. It's just you know when you lose a few matches that you're supposed to win, then. You know, you you lose a little bit of confidence, and it's huge in this game. I was gonna say, how big is Sorry. confidence? The belief that you can beat everybody, and when that, and when other players believe they don't have a chance almost against you. It's, yeah, it's very important. I mean, if someone goes on the court not thinking they can win against you, then then the match is as good as done. Um, when they believe you can win, then. You know, in an individual sport, when you're just playing against one person, if you believe you can beat them and they don't have a very good day, then you know you can cause an upset. That's as simple as that. Last three, please.